Neuromuscular ultrasound has really come onto the field the last 20 years, and it's being used a lot more in conjunction with EMG, and it's even being included in a lot of the fellowship programs now because the value of it is being recognized so much more. So EMG is um, an electrodiagnostic technique that studies the nerves and the muscles with objective testing. There's two components to it. There's the nerve conduction studies, which we stimulate the nerve and then measure how fast and how well electricity is transmitted through the nerve. And then there's the EMG portion of it, where we put a tiny needle transducer into a muscle and record the electrical activity. And the combination of those two tests can help us to figure out where exactly the problem is. Ultrasound has a lot of advantages, you know, as an adjunct to EMG. It's very quick, it's low cost, it gives you anatomic information that the EMG can't give you, so it complements the EMG. And it's also dynamic. You can have the patient move their limb and see how does the nerve move in relation to the limb movement. You know, when you compare it to something like MRI, you can have a real-time assessment at the bedside with the provider who knows the history. This is an area, um, I think, where ultrasound really has an advantage of being able to get real-time results uh, by the clinician. I started doing neuromuscular ultrasound in 2017. I finished fellowship and I went to my uh, next duty station, I was in the military. Got a lot of experience and logged lots of hours in ultrasound. When I moved out here, um, started logging patients. But after 150, I was able to apply for the um, certificate of added qualification for a neuromuscular ultrasound, which I took the exam and passed. And to my knowledge, I'm the only one in Idaho that's, that's done that. And so we're excited to be able to offer that as an adjunct to our neuromuscular services.